then everything that needs to be created and provided for will be provided for. But it's different than seeking for support, although that's a valid initial step, and I, I might get to that in a second. But again, just staying a little bit longer with the highest level, there is no longer a seeking from a vulnerability, from an insecurity, from a feeling physically vulnerable. If we're identified with the physical body, if we associate the feminine aspect of God only with the female body, which is in general, not always, but in general, upper body is uh, more fragile, less strong, muscularly speaking, than the masculine. If we associate through that filter, we'll always feel a little bit, not inferior per se, but um, vulnerable. And this vulnerability comes from body consciousness. It comes from body identification, body association. Now in that state, yes, there seems to be relevance to finding that support. But really, the feminine is the support of the masculine. The masculine is not the support of the feminine. Although, on a relative level, if there is a balanced masculine and feminine equation, then the masculine will provide and protect that physical vehicle of the feminine. But it's not really support, it's more protection and provision and direction. You are the support. You are the support of the masculine. That is the surrender. That's the receiving. It's kind of like being a satellite dish energetically. It's the energetic version of a satellite dish. That's what I mean with receptacle. Again, it's not the best word, but you're receiving information. You're receiving impregnation. You're receiving creation. You're receiving God and all of its manifestation. And the deeper your confidence and your knowledge of I am the divine, I am God, I'm indestructible, I'm not just the body, I'm not just the mind, that's included, I love that, but it's not who I really am, I am beyond this, I'm indestructible, I'm the indestructible, feminine receiving power of this universe, I'm the support, I'm the basis. If you can tap into that more and more and more, you will find you're no longer seeking for support, you will be the support. And in that frequency, yes, you will receive protection, you will receive guidance, you will receive direction and specificity and particularization, you will receive provision for whatever your physical body needs, but you are the support, the feminine is the support, it's the basis, it's the space, the void in which the subatomic particle, if you will, can speed up and rotate and find direction of the masculine. So you are the support for the masculine. And at the highest level, that surrender, therefore, actually feels like a total confidence. But that's only possible if you have seen beyond the physical body's identification sufficiently enough. Until that time, so now I'm stepping it down a little bit, yeah? Until that time, there will be the desire to seek stability in the masculine. And it's not necessarily wrong, and if you find a good masculine force, and you are willing to surrender and be vulnerable. Again, vulnerability is an illusion, right? But within the illusion, you have to be willing to be vulnerable as long as that's part of your experience. So if you find a good masculine force that is trustworthy, then at some point you do have to begin to trust that force. Otherwise, you cannot practice as easily the surrender and you cannot attain to the divine feminine that I just described which is more like the space of the universe, that loving, receiving space that gives life and impregnates or allows the impregnation, that gives the fertile soil for the impregnation to occur, that supports everything that wants to flourish, everything that God wants to accomplish, everything that God wants to create and realize about itself. You enable that, you support that, you empower that by your support, by your receptive mode, by your co ultimate confidence. But again, in order to get there, you oftentimes how we practice that quite naturally is through surrendering to the masculine. And so initially, when you don't have that indestructible confidence just yet, you do feel it at some level, you do know it's there, but you're still identified also on the service with the human self. And it's fine, it's perfectly normal. So when that component of the human vulnerability still is a part of your experience, you have to just be willing to surrender and uh, at your own pace, and of course, to a safe source. But once you know that it's a safe source, it's a reliable source, at some point, 
you have to begin to trust it a little bit more in order to practice this. Because if you don't, then it's just, you're just um, blocked and you don't use that opportunity. So at that level of the human level, it's a bit more of a delicate balance. But if you trust in the process and you attract such a stabilizing, energizing force into your life, then you can begin to surrender your vulnerability, which simply means feel vulnerable until that begins to feel more indestructible. And it's greatly liberating when you first start to open up in that way and start to be vulnerable because it is through your vulnerability being allowed that you will begin to realize this indestructibility. And there's no more potent way to do this than, or more normal, no more tangible way to do this than with a masculine force. It's just the most tangible. It's just the most in your face. It's just the most confronting. It's the most accelerated, right? So it's also a little bit scary, but that's a healthy sign. If it's a little bit scary, you know, you're already considering this particular person and there's already safety and a trust there. Otherwise you wouldn't even consider it. If it's just this random dude at the bar, that's like drunk and like coming on to you. Obviously you're not really considering even surrendering in that sense. So if you're even considering it and it feels a little bit scary because you're considering it, it's already a good sign. You're already on a deeper level. You already trust this person enough. Again, they might not be 100% perfect. That'd be very rare, but they will be sufficient <laughs> representatives of a genuine masculine force for you to practice your vulnerability in so that you can realize your indestructibility through that. And what that feels like initially, not speaking from the ultimate level just yet, but initially is a greater trust in your innocence, your softness, your surrender, being innocent again, preferring being innocent and humble and not knowing over knowing, which is kind of a masculine force, which often gets distorted in women out of fear and justified out of fear. It's like, no, I know, I know what's best for me. Maybe you don't always. So if you prefer the surrender to your innocence, just the innocent state of not knowing, the innocent state of humility, you start to immediately soften. You can feel it in your body. You can feel it in your spine. You can feel it in your brain. You can feel it in your organs. You can feel it in your heart. And the softness begins to open the body, begins to open the channels to where you become more receptive to that ultimate version of the feminine, which is indestructibly fearless and confident, equal to God. No longer in need of support, she is the ultimate support of all that wants to be birthed into creation. But again, before that point has fully been accomplished or close to fully been accomplished, there is an in different kind of phase where yes on a human level there needs to be some surrender to that vulnerability <laughs>